Good afternoon, this is Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Monday and today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here is for Taurus. Welcome Taurus. We have the Kremolkins, Curious Cats Tarot to start a reading for you. And the card that came out is called the Hermit. And the Hermit is dedicated to a cat named Tortoise. In a house that fosters several dogs and cats and a rabbit or two, the cat Tortoise often finds herself overwhelmed by all the activity and noise within the house. She never knows where to sit or when chaos may ensue. It's all very erratic and training. In the evening, right after the meals have been put down, Tortoise makes her way out into the backyard where there is a large magnolia tree. Spring is her favorite time of the year. The cool evenings together with the emergent no the cool evenings together with the emerging fragrant flowers make for the perfect escape. It is in this tree that tortoise can quiet her mind and make space for new ideas, new adventures, new possibilities to enter. It is here in the tree that Tortoise sees herself not as a part of a hectic household, but as a part of something bigger, a cat connected to the energy of the universe. The search for the truth begins when we are in a quiet space. So the card, the hermit, asks that you take a break from the chaos of modern life and turn off your devices as the answers you seek will arrive when you escape the chatter and noise of the outside world. Maybe your quiet place is a tree like it is for tortoise. Or maybe you prefer a long solo walk on the beach. Now is the time to go inward by finding a place of solitude. When you find a place that allows you to go inward, your senses will be heightened and you will become more receptive to the wisdom of your higher self. There is one word of caution when the hermit appears. Be sure to be clear regarding your intentions. Are you seeking solitude as a means of discovering guidance? Or are you using it as an excuse to escape a difficult situation? Only when you truly want the answers, regardless of what they require of you, will the light of the lantern appear. The positive energy attributes to the card, they are making time for oneself, going inward for answers, able to be alone without feeling lonely, seeking guidance, wanting to know the truth and when the energy attributes are negative you might use alone time to escape responsibilities separation from society closed-minded or set in your ways and withdrawing from society the next card is the World Your Light Oracle card and that card deck 
has different categories of energies assigned to the cards, namely confirmation, inquiry, action, activation, and transmission. And the card that came out for you is Priestess, and the Priestess card is an inquiry card, and is asking you, how are you being called to step up and lead? The priestess is a teacher dedicated to service, freedom, and leadership. You do not need to have it all together to lead. In fact, it helps if you don't. No one wants a perfect angel who hasn't made any mistakes. So let your life be your message. Do not underestimate the power of sharing your story. It is by hearing someone else's journey that we feel less alone. We realize that we are actually all in this together, which is called life. The difference between a follower and a leader is that a leader has the courage to go first. In stepping out, they shine a light on the path for others to venture forward as well. So do not fret too much about trying to work out who is your tribe. Do not get stuck in age, in income, hobbies or occupation. The best way to discover your tribe is to look in the mirror. If you feel called to lead, chances are it is because at some point in your life you longed for someone to lead you. Your tribe are longing for exactly the same thing as you were and are and might only be one step behind you. Hell, they may even be right alongside you. You do not need anyone's permission, just the courage to stand up. So embrace your struggles, the peaks and the throws. And the throws. You do not need to know the way, just believe that there might be a different one. Your tribe is waiting for you, so step forward so they can find you. Work your light inquiry by asking how are you being called to step up and lead and how can you be the leader that you wish you had. And the next card is Oracle of the Seven Energies and that card deck has energies assigned to each card like Earth, Water, Fire, love, sound, light, and thoughts. And your card is called the Divine Matrix and it relates to thought energy. The key concepts, they are the realm of spirit, the knowledge that we are all divine beings, part of a tapestry, weaving our dreams into the fabric of reality synchronicities and learning to trust the way things unfold. Do you ever wonder how synchronicities have come together? These meaningful coincidences, they move life forward in ways we might not understand at a time. We can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate parts with space between because the true quantum spiritual nature of reality can be confusing. So imagine that everything possible under the sun is waiting to be claimed. You are not separate from what you desire to manifest. Everything is intrinsically connected within a vast living web of life, a divine matrix. Even that 
which you have not yet observed as a part of your life experience is still connected to you. It remains dormant until you choose it. Life operates on life's terms as well, so you do not live in a vacuum. You are surrounded by a multitude of realities that were brought to life by others. These can surely affect you if you allow them to. But your luminous life force, your courageous dream is part of the tapestry of life. So you are being invited to be conscious of the, pa of the pattern that you are weaving. Isn't it amazing to know you have such power inherent in you? just by being alive, you will see evidence of the truth of this divine matrix today. It is in you. What you do matters. All manner of miracles, they are waiting for you to lay claim to them. So, are you ready? The sacred forest Oracle card is Aspen Spirit and Aspen Spirit is about courage and Aspen is one of the rarest and most enigmatic and beautiful trees of Scotland's native trees. It is also regarded the neglected tree of Scottish forestry but there has been a renewed interest in planting aspen trees in Scotland now. And there are many, many different kinds of aspens around the world. There is, for instance, Chinese aspen, Korean aspen, Big Tooth aspen, which is found in eastern North America, Eurasian aspen found in Northern Europe and Asia, and also the quarking aspen or the trembling aspen found in northern and western North America. And there is even a so-called lemon aspen or rainforest tree which is native to the tropical and tableland forests of eastern coastland. Australia. The true lemon aspen is found in northern Queensland down the coast to northeastern New South Wales. Lemon aspen is a so-called bush food. The lemon aspen fruits they can be spotted at farmers markets in eastern Australia. Lemon aspen fruit is a very rich source of folate, iron and zinc, magnesium and calcium. So I think that's very interesting and besides of it, the aspen tree is a very pretty tree. And the aspen spirit relating to courage says this, in the forest you can hear the whispering of the trees in the aspen groove. Your awareness sinks beneath the surface. You sense the aspen's network of roots, which allows each tree to connect with the rest of the groove. This connection also makes them a single organism united at a so level that can live for thousands of years. If the Aspen Spirit card has shown up in your life today, it brings a message of courage, protection, community and the ability to face and to overcome obstacles in life. Know that you are protected and that you are safe. You are ready to step forward 
with all this courage and grace, no matter what seems to be blocking your way. The Aspen's network of roots is a sign that you should be open to support from others. So combine your effort with like-minded individuals. You do not need to do it all alone. This may be a good time to bond with people over a creative project or a community endeavor. In Celtic tradition, the Aspen was associated with community, endurance, and protection. The Celts, they chose the wood of the Aspen tree to make their battle shields and to protect them from spiritual as well as physical harm. It sheltered the soul from its deepest fears and Aspen was thought to be the teacher of fearlessness and carried a message of strength in facing the unknown. The spirit of the Aspen tree says to you, the energy of your inner spiritual warrior is ready to step forward to face any challenges or blockages in life. So be willing to accept help and be fearless. And the last card is the lovely animals oracle card and out for you came the starfish. And the starfish is about imagination, ritual and cleansing. And the general message is that you should use your imagination to remove from life what you do not need. Take time out and look after yourself with all the love you deserve. Perform a ritual with water to renew your energy and keep it balanced. Your strength is that you are a natural energetic cleanser and the opportunities they are take the energy you need from your environment to feel content and happy and weaknesses are to seek emotional balance elsewhere and there are some dangers there might be some depression which can lead to serious illnesses so Find good things in life and lighten up and don't let things get you down, Taurus, okay? And I see that I mixed up the cards. The Divine Matrix comes before the Aspen Spirit. I'm sorry that I put it out wrong. Today is not a very good day, I think. I'm kind of a little bit confused today. And before I go... Tomorrow, I'm going on a nice day out in the zoo. We have a beautiful zoo here in my city. And it is also not only a zoo, it also has a botanical garden attached to it. And tomorrow, the zoo is opening up the koala house that they built. And they made a beautiful home for four koalas that my city got from Australia to take care of them. And there are even farmers in northern Germany, I think, or eastern Germany. They have planted eucalyptus so that they always can give the zoo the needed fresh leaves for the four koalas but they also planted some eucalyptus trees in my zoo to feed the koalas and tomorrow they open up the house the koala house so i'm going there to see the spectacle and i hope to make a video and put it here on my channel afterwards okay so i hope it works out 
and I'm sure I have lots of fun tomorrow with the koalas. And you have a wonderful day and a great week and take care and goodbye.